Hey there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to our Ornate Garden online class. Today we're going to be playing with some brand new products from Stampin' Up! That They're absolutely gorgeous. They're um, actually available now for uh, demonstrators and in a demonstrator kit, which means we get a discount and we get celebration products on it, which is kind of neat. Um, and then April 1st it will be available to all customers. And uh, so anyways, you can get it either way. But um, I also have a card kit with it that I'm going to show. I'll show you in a minute. But anyways, let's let's talk about what we're going to make today. So we're going to make this really cool card. It's very beautiful and uses some of the um, the pieces in the kit. And I've got some other things to share as well. But here's the cool stuff. I am also giving away. There's two bundles in this mega suite. The Ornate Thanks Bundle and the Ornate Sweet Bundle. And I am giving two of these away. And I'm doing it a little differently today. Um, instead of one immediately following the live and one next week or two weeks from now, I am going to draw both winners in two days on March 26th. So all you need to do is leave a comment, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay on Facebook or YouTube between now and March 25th to enter to win one of these two bundles. And I will uh, draw the winners randomly. I will post them on my blog, um, on the winners page as always, and in the newsletter. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, um, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I figured a lot of us are home right now. So a lot of us are actually able to watch live when most of us would have normally been um, in the office or doing other things. And I thought, well, let's shake it up and do things a little bit different. Plus, you can't buy these products yet. You can only, unless you're a demonstrator, you can't. Customers can't buy them yet. So this is a great way to get some before they even get released. So. There's that, but also there's celebration news today. So celebration is coming to an end. We have less than a week left, and that means um, less than a week left to get any of those free products um, that you liked. They're not coming back, by the way. I keep getting asked this over and over. Is this stamp set coming back? Is this stamp set? No stamp sets are coming back. Celebration is limited edition, and so they're not coming back. The only item we've been told will be coming back is the small blooms punch, and that was a maybe, a maybe. But normally and traditionally, celebration items do not do not come back. It is just a limited time offer. They are special edition products. So if you loved something, get it now. And I will note, things are selling out. So I have all that information on my blog, stampwithtammy.com. And also that great demonstrator kit special also ends on March 31st. And that means this adorable little paper cutter is going away. So if you want it, get that demonstrator kit. And you can get everything I'm showing you today in the demonstrator kit if you wanted to choose them. All this entire suite or parts of it. Also this morning, Stampin' Up! announced a third release of Celebration products, which are products that we have in our catalog line that you can also choose as freebies. So if you have everything everything and I know some of you actually do that are in that celebration catalog um, you can actually choose some of them paper is always a great thing because you can never have enough of it all right so that is also exciting and you can get more information on all of these specials on stampwithtammy.com click on the tab that says specials like always have everything listed there and this is what we're playing with today so this is a, they call this an early release this is going to be coming out in June in the new Stampin' Up! catalog but they are doing an early release for everybody, uh, available now for demonstrators and available April 1st for customers. And you can um, get more information on this uh, by clicking on the resource page in this video's description or by um, going to stampwithtammy.com. Again, it's all there. So these are the products. This, this is a, it's called a mega suite. Everything goes really beautifully together. It's so fun to play with. I mean, immediately when I got this pre-order, the first thing I did was jump on, jump on here and start a video. And I made these projects. So these are teasers. If you missed this video class, you can get this on my blog. It's also linked in the resource page for you. So you can find it nice and easy. How beautiful is this? Like I literally opened the box and just made these live, which I don't normally do. Normally I, I, I'm not good with that uh, on the on the on the fly pressure, but it was that beautiful and easy to play with that we were able to just throw these together, like throw these together, right? They're beautiful. One more thing I want to share before we get started with the stamping, and these are just a sampling of projects. So I have put together because I love playing with this kit. I put together um, two. Uh, card kits, one for the Ornate Thanks Bundle and one for the or Ornate Style Bundle. 
and they're available on my blog. And then I combine them with a, I can't choose, don't make me choose. I want it all bundle, which also has um, this bonus box included in um, all the, all the projects together in all of the projects and products in the suite. So these are just a sampling of each. Um, so I have more projects in the, the actual kit and you can order the kits now only until March 31st. So these are special. This is a special offer from me and all of the information is on my stampwithtammy.com blog. And then this is just a little bit of information, but again, March 31st is the deadline to order these. So if you love what you see today and know you're going to, you want this stuff, this is a great way to get it. Or the demonstrator kit is also a great way to get it. And I should note, if you buy the demonstrator kit between now and the end of the month, I'm going to give you this, um, the PDF and video file for this class, the ornate garden class, that's part of the kits free. So you get that too. So you can order the products in your kit and get them free. You guys ready to stamp? Okay, let's go. Here's what we're making today. This is from the Ornate Garden stamp set, uh, the Ornate Garden Sweet, because it's a sweet sweet, and we are using pretty close to everything. I didn't use the ribbon in this, but pretty close to everything. I have a free PDF on my blog, and you can find it by clicking on the link in this video's description that says resource page, or you can go to stampwithtammy.com and click video classes. All of them are there. The measurements for our um, class, the project that we're making today are there, and all of the products are there um, on the back and, and a place for notes so that you can take some notes. All right, so I also have um, the link that goes back to that resource page. So if you're making this later, you get the, the products later and you're making this later, and it's an easy way to get back to the resource page with one click or with uh, if you're, your smartphone, a little zapper. A little zapper there. It is my goal to make things easy for you guys to have fun. That's what I do. So today, I think I am going to start with die cutting. So a, a lot of times when I'm making a card, I like to start with stamping, but today I want to start with the die cuts and I want to show you a trick that I learned. So um, we used to have, um, you know, we had the big shot die cut machine and now we're coming out with our own, which will be coming soon. I don't have an exact date. But um, anyways, our dies are made to fit, I think, in the new machine that we're getting. And we no longer sell the precision base plate, which used to be great for these intricate dies. And so I thought, well, <clears throat> there's got to be a great way, to, easy way to cut these intricate, delicate dies that have all of these little pieces easily so that, you know, without the precision base plate so that, you know, you're not going crazy poking all these little holes out. So thanks to one of my Stamp It demonstrators, Beth Brock, she had this great idea. She, she said she uses wax paper in between the die and the the the, um, the paper so I thought well let's give that a try and when I did it worked awesome and it was such an easy fix so let's let me tell you what I got going on here so this is our older big shot die cut machine and it's the, the big shot platform and the thin die adapter I did try this with the magnetic platform and it did not work as nicely so um, I do recommend the actual platform and the thin die adapter. And if you have the older model platform that flips, that's hinged, just close it and it's the same. So from, and this is the um, ornate layers dies. So ornate layers dies. This is the die set. And I'm gonna just give you a quick screenshot so you can see what they look like cut because I didn't actually cut them out yet. I usually do that for you guys and I apologize for slacking. Um, but this is what they look like. This is this is the one on the right side in the pink. The dies are the ones in the pink, that and they're made to match the um, ornate style stamp set. So that's the bundle that goes together. I know the names are very similar, and the stamp set. I believe that these two bundles really just go together. So I've got terracotta tile cardstock here, and here's the trick. This is just wax paper, regular wax paper, right? We we can get that still. We can still get wax paper. And I am going to put this, the wax paper, in between the die and, I'm sorry, yes, the die and the cardstock. Now here's one more tip that I just, make sure there's no little confetti pieces stuck in your die before you do this, because otherwise those pieces won't cut out as well. So just make sure that the die is cleaned out before you cut. All right, now I, I, I cut that piece of cardstock very, very close, so it's uh, 
it's tight. But I also found I can do these two pieces together to make the frame. So what I've got here in addition to the um, ornate layers is the, um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank, stitched, stitched rectangle dies. So that's going to cut out the center right there. So I've got two dies at once so we can cut our frame. Okay. And then one cutting pad on top. And I'm just going to crank it through. Now, personally, whenever I have something this kind of intricate, I like to send it through twice just to make sure it gets a good cut. And hey, it doesn't hurt to send it back through a third time. But twice is probably enough. Anyways, just make sure it goes all the way through the first time. And then when you take it off, I'm going to take these pieces off. Now, we don't need the center of this. So this has wax paper on it. You can just peel the wax paper off. You can reuse this for another project another day. And this has wax paper on it as well. So let me just move our stuff out of the way so we can take a look at what we got left. This is the piece that we want to use. I'm just going to take the wax paper off it. And now any little pieces that are stuck in there, I found they just literally pop right out with your dye brush and you just do this and look at that. Boom. Can you guys see that? Let me, let me zoom in. So you can see there was some little pieces here st still in here when it came out, but one quick little, one quick little run through with this dye brush, everything popped right out. Like butter. <laughs> So I was very happy. I was very happy with this little trick. Thank you very much, Beth, for uh, sharing that with our, our demonstrator group, our Stampin' Demonstrator group. Okay. And once you're done, then you have this beautiful, beautiful ornate frame. Although ornate frames is the name of another die, so I'm gonna call it the ornate, this is the ornate layer, right? We have ornate borders and ornate layer. Make sure I'm calling it the right thing. Yes, the ornate layer. Although I want to call it a frame because I just made a frame out of it. All right, so while I've got the big shot out, I'm going to go ahead and use that um, stitch rectangle die, and I'm going to cut this. This is the smallest rectangle out of that die set. By the way, you can save all these little confetti pieces and make a shaker card out of it later. Just for another idea there. All right, so I, I've pre-cut that one out of white. Now. I am going to take that die cut machine back into view. We're going to take out the thin die adapter now. And goodness, I had a weird thing. I had the cutting the hat on the bottom. That's weird. Anyhow, you only need one plate for this. Actually, this probably goes better if you have the blue plate, but that's okay. So this is the ornate floral um, 3D embossing folder that's part of the suite. I'm going to stick this frame in here and we're going to put it on the big shot. I think, no, that's not going to be enough. Let's try it with the two. Um, we do have a blue um, cutting pad that we sell in the online store for these newer um, embossing folders and I do not have it with me. So hopefully this is going to work. Let's see. Nope, it's not. Oh. I hate it when that happens. All right, let's see if we can get a shim going. Maybe my, uh... <laughs> I'm really doing tricks today, all right? Maybe my silicone mat will be enough to, to lift that up. There we go. Let's see what happens. Perfect. All right, so if you don't have that blue plate um, with these newer 3D folders, <laughs> You can use you can use your uh, silicone mat in in place of that with one cutting pad and boom you have a beautiful beautiful uh, textured background. That was a tip that I wasn't even expecting to share. I just found that out with you guys. All right, so let's keep on going here with our card. The next thing I'm going to do is the stamping. Now I'm using the ornate style. This is this goes so there's two bundles. I know, again, confusing with the names because they all sound the same. But the ornate style and the or ornate layers are part of one bundle. Now I've got it all messed up. 
better for me to show you the screenshot, right? And the ornate borders dies here. And this is, um, so we're not going to actually use the border dies on this one. We're just going to use the ornate think stamp set, but those are the two that go together. Okay. So I'm going to take this beautiful flower stamp here and the words from ornate thanks. Okay. So this beautiful flower and this is rubber. The ornate style is red rubber and the ornate thanks is photopolymer. So we can see through the words so we can line them up, which is kind of cool. Now I was going to use stays on with this and I forgot to bring that down. So forgive me. We're just going to keep rolling. I like to show you how to improvise and that's not even intentional. I don't charge extra for that improv improvising. <laughs> Uh, mostly I'm just showing you what to do when you make mistakes or <laughs> if you get in a jam, like not quite sure how to cut a 3D folder properly without that blue plate. There you go. So I just stamped this in early espresso. I would have used my stays on if I had remembered to bring it down. And now on this, I just got ink on because my fingers were in the ink pad. I'm also going to stamp that in the early espresso. And this isn't the stamp I wanted though. The stamp that I wanted to go with this one was You're Amazing because I did advertise this as the You're Amazing card and I took out this, the stamp from here that says for everything. So let's switch that around. I can't false advertise. We have to use You're Amazing, right? Because you are amazing. It's the next one down in the pack. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on this little uh, rectangle, stitched rectangle. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and take these ink pads that I've taken out. We've got Early Espresso and Daffodil Delight, Terracotta Tile, and Old Olive. All right, I, I, I know this is not related to the class, but I see this keeps coming up in the thread. Teresa, the, the cup dies have sold out. I know this is not related to the class and I apologize. Um, I don't want to confuse anybody else on what's happening there, but I do see this keeps coming up on the thread and I want you guys to get that information. All right, so I'm taking the Daffodil Delight and the Sponge Dauber. And the reason why I wanted the stays on over the Espresso is so that we didn't get any of the ink kind of smudging a little bit. And so I'm taking this and I'm just coloring Just color, just kind of dabbing this ink on the on the flowers. If you rub it too much, it does the early espresso. It does it's not waterproof like the stays on is, so it would smudge a little bit. So I'm kind of dabbing more than I'm rubbing for this particular one. It is a nice big flower, and it's so so pretty. Okay, so I'm taking the terracotta tile ink here and doing the bigger flowers with that. Okay, I'm going back over. I just want to add a little bit more color here to these flowers. And okay, so we've got oh, we've got Daffodil Delight and we've got um, the Terracotta Tile and then with the centers, I'm just going to take a little dab of the Early Espresso and it's okay if it does a little bit more. Like the, um, my intent really isn't to go inside the lines here with this. A little bit more yellow though. There we go. And next up is Old Olive for the leaves. Kind of dabbing on with these. I love the sponge daubers because they're it's soft. It's a really pretty like um it's almost like a chalk pastel look when you use it with the ink pads, just dipping it in there. Okay. 
And this is old olive that I'm using. All right, so then when I'm done with that, I'll just slide these little guys right out of the way. I'm going to take some paper snips, and I see I have ink on my fingers again from touching the open ink pad, so swap those off. You know what? In times like these, it's you can't have enough of these antibacterial wipes, right? <laughs> I use Calypso Coral Stampin' Blend Marker to uh, blend with the terracotta tile color. Um, I find that that, that Stampin' Blend color, because we don't have terracotta, we don't have a terracotta tile in Stampin' Blends. I do find that the Calypso Coral does make a, a nice substitution. Um, we're not using Stampin' Blends in this class, so again, I apologize if I'm confusing anybody, but that is a question that's going around here. Okay. And I'm just gonna trim this out. All right, I, I, I'm gonna go off-roading and off-topic here just so I can I can close this. There's a, there's a thread going on the live video here about the, the, tea, the, the, the teacup dies that have sold out. Yes, there was a, there was a notification. They were in the holiday catalog and we were told that they would come back, but they're going into hibernation. There was a few products that went into hibernation after the holiday catalog that we were told will come back in the new catalog in June. When this actually comes out, this, this suite of products that I'm using now comes out in June. However, this suite of products that I'm using right now is actually going to be early released in April. But the rest of those products in hibernation will not come back until the, the new catalog comes out. And I hope that that solves all of the questions that are going on out there. But if it doesn't, you guys can email me separately. I just don't want to confuse anybody who's watching this going, what the heck is she talking about? Okay. Teacup dyes, you know. Oh, she's just cutting out flowers. She's talking about teacup dyes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right. There were so many pretty things that you could do with these flowers. And I, I, I used them totally differently when I put, the, put together the card kits. And I just, I really loved it. I like all the things that came in the suite though. Are you guys sad that celebration is ending? I am. I'm like, I feel like I need to just like really use all of my celebration stuff, but I can't tear myself away from this new suite. I'm like, I feel like I need to get in there and start stamping with it. Okay, so you guys are hung up on coffee cups while I'm here stamping and I totally get it. <laughs> I do, I totally get it. All right, so here uh, I am ready to do some assembly. I've got some Daffodil Delight. I took a, an eight and a half by 11, cut it in half and boom, folded that in half and we've got our standard size card base. And um, ha, that would be so nice. Terry says, I wish Stampin' Up! would release that catalog early to raise our spirits. I wish that were possible, unfortunately. They don't even have the stuff made yet, right? And now the assembly line is only going part time because of all of the virus stuff. I'm just glad the assembly line is going at all. So um, I'm cutting this, believe me, I would like nothing more to, than to see new stamps right now because, I mean, this is my therapy and this is what, this is really what I'm doing while I'm at home, you know, is, is stamp, stamp, stamp. I feel like I need to make sure that I have uh, enough stuff. I just, I, I meant to pre-cut this down for you guys before and I didn't, so forgive me for that too. I'm just cutting this down. This is going to be underneath our framed layer so we have a piece of white backing underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and take that if you are having trouble getting a good image with these larger stamps let me help you with that. One of the, the, the best ways, and let me see if I have it handy because that's a good question, is the foam mat. No, I'm sorry I don't have one handy but the foam mat, the, the paper piercing mat, if you put that down and stamp on it, sometimes that does help. And next we're going to take our frame. And I'm going to put that on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. 
it is a blessing that they haven't shut down the manufacturing plant. It is a big blessing and the distribution. I mean, I think I would cry. <laughs> I want to cry now, right? But thank God for my sanity here. Actually, I'm going to put a couple more dimensionals. That is a really good idea, Melanie says. Use the Stamparatus. That is actually, that's probably an even better idea to get a good image with the larger um, stamps. Stamparatus is good for a lot of things. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals as well, and that's going to look like it's kind of popped out of the frame. I put some of this underneath, you know, like a little piece of it underneath. So I just like the look of that. Some of it's popping out, but some of it's underneath. And then I took this and I also put that on and I might need mini dimensionals for that. Let's see if we can get a full size dimensional. Yeah, actually full size dimensional is good. I even popped that up there too. And last but not least was just another fun piece of this new suite and they're called Gilded Gems and they're like faceted and I believe they are copper. No, I'm sorry. Are they gold? Are they, it doesn't say, I think they're gold. We're going with gold. So we're going to take, take a pick tool. We can go any size here. Let's go with one of these medium sized ones and pick that up and put that on there. Now I have one more. One more thing I really wanted to do to it because, I don't know, I just love doing this. <laughs> and that is, I took my shimmer mist, put it in, put it in my uh, little spritzer here with some rubbing alcohol. I love this. I love this look. And just gonna, I don't know, we're, we're, we're like six inches, you know, we have social distancing that's six feet, just think of social distancing with your spritzer about six inches, spritz it on there, because it's rubbing alcohol, it's gonna dry quick, and sorry, it's a little wet when you're looking at it, but can you see the sparkle on there? So cool. I just thought that was an awesome, like, ending to this really pretty card, and for those of you who are, um, Well, I'm, I'm doing my original now too because I originally hadn't done that to it. For those of you who are catching late, um, I also have a kit that uses that that um, I created. Actually, two kits: one for ornate style and one for ornate things, and one that combines them both and gives you an, a bonus and some extra special deal on it. And that's called the I Want It All Suite, and that's all created with the products that I use today because um, we'll be able to purchase those as customers on April first. Uh, my deadline for these special order kits that I put together is March 31st. You can get all the information on this by going to stampwithtammy.com or clicking on the resource page. And there you can have, um, you, you'll have all the information there and you can order them there as well. I like to make it quick and easy. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Um, definitely be back on Saturday this week instead of Friday because it's our Stamp It Team blog hop for Easter ideas and you're not going to want to miss this because there's a chance we might all be spending Easter uh, via FaceTime with our loved ones and so you're going to want to send the grands and the family some handmade stuff just so you feel like you're a little bit more you know together so you're going to love the ideas that, that my team has put together. They're so talented and I've got some fun stuff up my sleeve for that too and I may may not be on before then. Uh, we will see what um, time allows. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today and uh, I will catch you guys back this weekend.